Hello and welcome to another episode of Audio Based Content, an improv comedy podcast. I am your host, Aaron's V. Felder. On this show, friends come over and do long form improv scenes with me. On today's episode, I am joined by Jason Edwards for a medical advice hotline. Uh, hello, this is um, Medical Advice Hotline. How can I help you? Help! I'm on fire! You're on fire right now, currently? Yes! Little My boat. arms are ablaze! Your arms ablaze? Yes! Hold on! I dropped the phone! Yes! I'm fired up! My whole body is on fire! Okay, okay, sir. Just uh, roll around on the ground. Oh, thank goodness you were there for me. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Is that it? Is that why were you on fire, sir? What happened? There's a big barbecue. A big, you had a big barbecue? No. Oh, oh. I haven't been invited. I got this new grill. Oh, that's fantastic. I figured. What brand grill did you purchase? It's a George Foreman Industrial 12 tier. Oh, we're trying to get market data, uh, you know, for shopping. So it was, it was a cute. Hold, hold on, hold on. I got life flat on the ground. Okay. 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 What kind of ground are you laying on? Pebbles, mostly pebbles. Pebbles. pebbles? Small, okay. S- small sharp pebbles. Oh. All right. My head's on a bigger rock. Your head's on a bigger rock. Oh. Is it hard? It's hard, but it's flat. Oh. So, did you did your shirt burn up in the fire, or did you still have a shirt? Just the right side. It became untucked, but I'm mostly covered. So, well, you know, I was going to suggest, uh, why don't you take it off and make a little pillow? Make a little pillow. Put your head on. It's a good idea. Hold on, I can only use my left arm. Oh, what's all right? What's all right? Hold well, on. What? What? Okay. Rolling to the left. All right. I'm rolling it with my hand. Oh, okay. Man. Oh boy. Thank you. Yeah. It feels that feels really good. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, there's a bird. Is it bird? Oh, what kind of bird is it? It's a pigeon. A pigeon? Yeah. Oh boy. Don't touch it. No, no. It's it's in the tree. It's on Don't the, touch the pigeon it. would be in the tree. No. What, what? What's wrong with your arm? Oh, I I broke it when I was rolling on the ground. I really wanted to put that fire out. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. You broke your arm? Okay, you're going to need to get to the hospital. No, I can't. The the cookout's in an hour. (laughs) This is the first time I'm going to be popular. I've got friends from all around the block. I already put the the balloons on my mailbox. There's a party over here, and they're going to come. The balloons in the... Okay, well, uh, then I guess you'll need to make a little stint, okay? Uh, It's a stint. Is there any sticks nearby? Do you have a stick? Pole? Do you I've got the playlist. Pole? I've got Ario Speedwagon. I got the police. I couldn't find my stick CD, but I'm hoping that my friend Bobby's gonna. He said he's got a whole book of 80s and today. Now sticks, I know is mostly 70s, but I'm hoping he brings their greatest hits. The Grand Illusion is supposed to be my closing song, so. It's interesting, sis. Do you still use uh, CDs? Yeah, CDs. Yeah, I don't use the cassette deck anymore on account it got too dusty and stopped working. But, uh, yeah, do, do CDs. You mind, do you mind if I ask what uh, brand CD player you use? Oh, yeah. It, it's a Sony. Sony? Yeah, Sony. Okay. All right. My, my Magnavook's broke, so my buddy, uh, he got me a good deal on a Sony. Oh. Works pretty good, but uh, unfortunately it's solar powered, so I can only use it for the daytime barbecues. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, you could, uh, can you hook it up to a battery? I, I've never tried. Uh, like, like, like a car battery. No, I mean, like, uh, well, or maybe it has a battery thing, or it's just some kind of battery. Like, a, like a, like a compartment. Yeah, perhaps. There's, yes. There are, there, uh, coils in the back, right? Yes. Yeah, coils. Yeah, I, uh, spring, little springy things? Yeah, little springy things. Yeah, when I first mm-hmm. got it, when I first got my Sony, there was a little door, and I opened the door, and then these little these little round things came rolling out. Uh, oh, I didn't yes, know what they batteries. were for. Those are batteries. Those were the batteries? Yes. Okay. Oh, all right. Well, right now I've got them uh, propping up my coffee table, oh. so I, I, I can use those. Yes, do you mind if I ask what brand batteries are they? Just read the word on the side of the battery. Okay, uh, hold on. Let me let me go on. 
Ah, oh, you're there. It's a uh, Dercacel. Oh, thank you. Thank you. A Dercacel Desol. Oh, yes. They're Desol batter rods. big ones, huh? Yeah. They're, it's hefty. They're very large. Hefty. Yeah, I remember. I saw this the first time when I was younger. I, I'd never seen batteries this large, and I was in my, my grandmother's, um, in her uh, night table. Yeah, if you threw it at somebody, it would really hurt. I think you would. Yeah. Now, can, mind if I uh, ask something of you? Absolutely. Yeah. If yeah you, yes. If you ever throw one of those at somebody, and it hurts them, tell them to call this number. Sure. Sure, I can pay it forward. You sure help me out of a pickle. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, you're going to need to get a shirt on before your uh, party starts, right? But we still need to make that stint. So uh, I need you to find a stick. Or if you have a flagpole, a little I, one, like a miniature uh, flag. I do have a javelin from back in my high school days. A javelin? That might be a little large. Huh. Do you have anything smaller? Smaller than a javelin? Yeah. Uh, like half a golf club? I, I've got I've got the old rabbit uh, ears. A novelty on, on my baseball two. bat. Rabbit ears. Not not literal now rabbit you've lost, ears. You've lost me. The, the metal pointy things that are on top of uh, you know televisions in uh, old folks homes. Oh, of course, antennas. Yes, yes, antennas like on a bumblebee. Yes, that's what we call them, bumblebee antennas. Bumblebee antennas. Yeah, you should uh. You should uh, endorse throwing those at people, and maybe if they get hit with a bumblebee antenna. Well, I, don't, I don't want to confuse you. I wasn't endorsing uh, throwing anything at anybody. But I was just saying, in the case of in which it may or may not occur, if you could then ask them to call this up. Sure, sure. But being that you're pitching it, it seems like... I'm not uh, pitching it, per se. I'm uh, simply saying... So business is good? You're doing all right? You're getting enough calls? Okay. It's okay. All right. Let's get back to this shirt. Okay. So I need to make a stint. Mm. Yes. Okay. I'm unfamiliar with the stint. Okay. You, you need some sticks. Something. Uh, sticks as big as your arm. Sticks as big as my arm. Uh, as long as your arm. Not as wide. Not as wide as my arm, but as long as my arm. I, uh, yes, I have, uh, I have a wiffle ball bat. Oh, would that work? I normally use that. That might for... work. Yes. Okay. That might work. All right. Uh, l- let me go over to the yard and. Okay, I've I've got my my wiffle ball bat. Okay, take your t-shirt, tie that, tie your arm to that wiffle ball bat. I... Oh, that's gonna be difficult. Your broken arm. With I have to tie the bat with my broken arm. No, to your broken arm. No, only one of my arms are broken. I understand. <laughs> tie the wiffle ball bat to your broken arm. Tie the so it doesn't move, so you don't bend it. Well, all I have so is it stays straight. What? I don't understand how. All the only thing I have to tie it with is this yellow ribbon around my old oak tree, and I'd be damned if I take it off. Why? What does that yellow ribbon symbolize to you? Well, my my support for all things wonderful and American. Oh, I, I don't want the neighbors to think I'm a communist, especially I, not a communist with a broken arm. They'll think I've been hailing Hitler too much. Now, what, what color ribbon do communists tie around the tree? Well, I would guess it would be a red ribbon. They tie mm. a red ribbon around their old cherry tree, because mm. it's red like cherries. Interesting. I, I have no cherry trees in my house, sir. Oh. I don't have any cherry trees in my house either. Good. I do have a lemon tree. Well, I suppose that's fine. Lemons are American. As American as lemonade, they say. Oh, I mean, are lemons American? I believe so. My my very first job as an entrepreneur was squeezing fresh lemons into jugs of water and sugar and handing them to strangers. Wait, they put the water and the sugar in there first? The water and the sugar, then you squeeze the lemons. Because if you squeeze the lemons and it slips out of your hand, you're out of a good lemon. This way you know the ratio will always be right. Oh, I suppose... That sort of makes sense. Not everyone's an entrepreneur, sir. Yeah. Okay, so, well, you could use your t-shirt, couldn't you? I know you're using it as a pillow, but you could take it and tie the wiffle ball bat to your arm. I suppose I could. It is yeah. it's quite tattery. Yeah. All right, well, hold on. Uh, so right now, I, I've got a pretty bad cramp in this arm, so I've got to gotta try to straighten this out. You're hold- broken arm? Yeah, the broken arm. It's, it, it's, it's, it's broken it, and cramped. 
it's broken and it's stuck in an L shape. An L shape. I need to straighten this out if yep. I'm going to tie the bat to it. Yep. All right. There's a there's just there's a brick wall over there. I suppose I could just, just keep the arm on a perfect ninety degree angle and just slam it right in, shouldn't I? Sounds that like would, it would work to me. And all right. D do you have any recommend? Should I put something in my teeth? Just in case I bite down? Well, we're not doing anything dental. All right. Here I go. One, two, three. Ah! Ah! Oh, I bit off my tongue! You bit off your tongue? I bit Why? off my tongue! Why would you do this? Uh, you can't see. You keep hurting yourself. Uh, my arm is straight, but I bit off my tongue. All right. Do you see your tongue? I think I swallowed it. Oh, God. Well, at least you're not choking on it. No, I think it went straight down. Oh, well, that's good. Oh, wait, no, no, there it is. I see it. It's on the ground. Oh, pick it up. Okay. Pick it up. It's dirty. It's yeah, really I'm sure dirty. it's dirty. Take it, to, take it inside to a sink and wash it off. Okay. Oh, uh, no, I just rinsed it in the pool. I got the pool. No, don't do that. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. I... Ugh, smell the bleak. Chlorine. Okay, Too much now, chlorine. Uh, are you still not going to go to a hospital? I, the cookout's been 30 minutes! How all right, all right, okay, okay. Then you have two options. You can either sew the tongue back on or super glue it. Super glue it? Uh, I could sew it on. Well, I'm not much of a seamstress, but I do have a lot of crazy glue. Then I would do the glue. Okay, I've okay. got I've got Elmer Super Strength. Yeah. I got the Gorilla Glue, yeah. and I also got Crazy Glue, which is crazy. Which which I mean, this is an em an emergency. <laughs> I got I got blood in my throat. Excuse me. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Maybe put that T-shirt in your mouth. <laughs> so good, some of that blood. <laughs> All right, that that chopped up a lot of blood. Okay, That's, good. Okay. Oh, I'm feeling a little bit lightheaded. I am going to sit down for a second. All right. Okay. Don't pass out. You got people coming over. What? You got people coming over. Uh, what did you say? Don't pass out. You got people coming over. I just need to sit for a second. No, you're gonna, you got people coming over. Come on. You can do this. You can do this. Take all, this. Take the three glues. Mix them together. And put them on the tongue and Who glue it? it back off. Who is this? Who am I talking to? What? Who am I talking to? Oh, me? Oh, it's me. Oh, I, got oh, I got people coming in 30 minutes. 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 I just make the glues. I make the glues. I make the glues. I make the glues. I make the glues. Kill all your guests. Use the gorilla glue. Drown your Use guests. Use the crazy in the pool. glue. Use the Elmer super strength that's made from hooves. Use the glue. Use the glue. <gasps> Oh, 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 they're sir, coming. They're sir? Oh, yes, yes, Are I'm here. Sir? I'm here. I'm here. Oh, they're coming in 30 minutes. I gotta get a shirt on. My arm okay. hurts, but it's did you Did you glue your tongue back on? Yes. It's okay. And the glue's dry. All right. All right. The glue's so much dry. It's almost dry. It's almost dry. It's almost Good. dry. It's almost dry. All right. Good. It worked. It worked. See? Okay. I, I helped you twice today. It's going to be okay. I helped you twice. It's going to be okay. Did you tie? Did you ever tie your arm to that? Uh, yes. I used my yellow red ribbon. <gasps> you did? Wait, yellow red? Yes, it's covered in blood. My yellow ribbon oh. is covered in blood, but well, it's then okay. it's good you took it off the tree. Uh -huh. Otherwise, your uh -huh. neighbors would think you're a it, communist. I tied it to the bat around my arm, and it's perfectly straight. And I'm enunciating. I'm enunciating. Yeah. Hi, it's guys. Good, it's Welcome good. to the party. There Welcome you to the party. Go. I've got a grill. There you go. <laughs> Nothing's wrong. <laughs> I'll be so cool. Thanks all for right. coming. <laughs> it's going to be all right. All right. You okay? <laughs> I, Are we I good? I think everything's going to be fine. <laughs> okay. That's good. All right. Well, if you ever need any more medical advice, oh, yeah. and call if I this any, number. If I ever see anyone get hit in a battery, <laughs> oh, they're, they're going to call you first thing. Okay. Now you might uh, get a call uh, with a survey. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't do those. Oh, yeah. It really helps me out. They base my. Uh, my I know. I just, I just. I just have this policy. You understand? Right. But thank you so much. Okay. Oh, all right. Uh, Godspeed. Yeah. Thank you. Bring. 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 
line. If you need directions to the medical center, please press 2. If you are calling about the food at the emergency medical center, please press 2. If this is an emergency is, and you need to talk to anyone a immediately... Is this a person? Yes. Hello? What? You did Oh, man. Hello, sir. Hey, baby. Who, I, who may I ask is calling? Oh, me, man. My name's George, baby. Oh, hello, George. Yes. Hey, what's your name, man? You ask me my name, I want to know your name. My name is Andrew. Oh, Andrew? Yes. All right, baby. I got a medical problem, baby. It what seems to be the problem, George? I can't see nothing, man. I woke up today. I'm completely blind, baby. Oh, no. Oh, that's terrible. Hey. Well, uh, well, there's certain things we can do probably to help you there. Uh, so you woke up and you couldn't see. That's right. I went to the mirror to brush my teeth and comb my hair and I couldn't see nothing. Oh, that's terrible. Did you, first off, did you yeah. try opening your eyes? Yeah! And that didn't work. Okay, alright. Uh, that didn't Of course work. I open my eyes. Okay. I think okay. I wake up in the morning and get my eyes closed. That's crazy. Ooh, alright. So, if it was morning time, yeah. uh, and you couldn't see, how do you know you saw the clock that it was more? It could have been nighttime, and maybe it was just too dark. My alarm went off. When my alarm goes off, it goes, it's 6 a.m. Oh, that's right. Oh, alright. So it goes ding 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 ling ling ding ling ling at six a.m. Oh, I use that one too, but I wake up at seven. Oh, all right. So, uh, uh, but last night you could see. Yeah. Now, did did anything peculiar? I set the alarm. You set the alarm, and and nothing happened in between the alarm setting and you going to bed that may have uh, affected your eyesight. I set the alarm right before I laid my head on my pillow and shut my eyes. Huh. Oh, this is very odd. Oh, I've never heard of such a random case. Uh, perhaps, does glaucoma run in your family? No. No glaucoma either. Who? Uh, Parkinson's uh, does. Hey, oh, well, that's, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that's that would affect your eyesight. That, that would just, yes. Um, I am allergic to almonds. I, I, I'm unfamiliar with almonds. It's a nut. Who people say I'm oh almonds yes oh uh you're allergic to almonds oh but uh I, I would imagine almonds are not around you there'd be no reason that you'd be uh, in contact with said almonds yeah, that's right I didn't put them in my bed and they don't make me go blind they make me choke to death baby huh all right but you've never had an almond joy they're really quite good. I have had an almond joy. That's how I discovered I'm allergic to almonds. Oh, okay. Well, you know, worth it probably. All right. I wouldn't say so. It was very frightening. I thought I would die. Oh, yeah. The death. I forgot about the death. Uh, have you felt around your face? Maybe there's something covering the, your, your eyes? I would feel if something was on my face. Yeah, yeah, it would make sense. There's nothing on my face I cannot see. Hmm. Uh, it's not all black. But it's... Oh, it's not black. No. You just can't see. But I don't know what's in front of me. I mean, other than what I know about my house. Okay. Well, well, why don't you describe to, to me what you can see? Uh, I see a blob of blue. And maybe a sort of beige color. A blob of blue and beige color? Do you see a, a bluebirds fly in skies of blue by any chance? No. Hmm. Just the two colors. If I saw that, I would have said, with b birds flying by. What? I don't even remember. What did you say? Well, uh, it doesn't you matter. You just reminded I didn't me of this it. Louis Armstrong song. So, I see. Oh. so uh, blobs of blue and, and beige. Yeah, and they're kind of <laughs> don't, don't, don't. touching each other. If I move, they move. If you move, they move. But if I don't move, they don't move. You wouldn't have to live on a beach, would you? No. No, okay, because those I are live, two colors. I live in a talking. house. You live in a house. And there's blood. I'm in the house. Oh, in the I haven't house. left. I'm frightened. Oh. Do you feel any pain? Is there any pain? No, no. baby. No pain, baby. You ain't got no pain. No. But you can't see. You can't see. Beige. And you can see blue. I can see beige and blue blobbies. Beige and blue bobbies. And they move when I move. And they move when you move. When I move, they move. Just like that. When they move, you move. 
just like that. <laughs> when they move, I move just like that. When you move, they move just like that. Okay, perhaps, uh, hmm, I don't, I've never heard of such a thing. Uh, when they move, you move just like that. Perhaps, uh, did you, uh, put any drugs into your body, perhaps? Any drugs? drugs yeah. What are you accusing me of, man? Well, once I once I went on a crazy mescaline binge, and I saw a lot of beiges and blues. Now, granted, I could see most what? other things, what the and there hell? were things on my face, but what kind of? They hired just anybody to do this job, man. Yes, actually, I, I thought you aren't you a medical professional? Well, it was it, it, on, it was baby. take your nephew Come to work on. day, and then uh, kill someone's they nephew. Just let Yes, my uncle Gary. This is oh, his job, no, no, and, no, and he no, left, no, and he, no, 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 no. he said he was going to find a new life on the West Coast. No, so no, I've been no, here no, since. No, 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 listen, man. Come on, baby. I got nephews. They're all terrible. Every single one of my nephews is terrible. I got twelve nephews, all bad. I don't trust nephews. Well, I don't have any nephews, but my if sister. If you were has- a son, maybe, but a nephew. Uh, 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 yes, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately uh, I don't have a papa. Uh, uh, I'm, I, uh, I, don't, I don't think. I don't think. I well, think, no, not. It doesn't matter. I know you are a someone's son. Yes, but I mean, you're also a nephew, so no, thank you. That's well, what I'm saying. I, re- hey, I take much offense to that. My, now, my sister doesn't have a child, but she has a dog, and that dog is really cool. And I treat that dog as my nephew, so I think some nephews are pretty cool. If you ask me, sir. That's a dog, though. That don't count. Yeah, but some all my nephews. He shakes are awful. like a person. Have you seen him shake? He you does shake? the elbow action. It's amazing. Now listen, I would have told you I have Parkinson's. You think I find amusement um, in somebody that's shaking? That's true. How do you feel about Michael J. Fox jokes? I'm just gauging the audience. I just want to know. Are How do they, I feel about are they in bad taste? Michael J. Fox's jokes? I, I, have, I don't think I, he writes I, good jokes. I have so many Michael J. Fox jokes, and I'm just wondering, because he has a Parkinson's, if it is in bad taste, what? because it would remind people of his ailment. Michael J. Fox has Parkinson's disease? You didn't know that? No. Yeah. It, no, baby, I haven't kept up with Michael J. Fox. Really? I saw them Back to the Future movies a long time ago. I mean, Teen Wolf. Oh, Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf 2 is my favorite. The Revenge of Teen. Oh, yeah, baby. That's oh, a good one. I know. It's like, and then they have, uh, instead of the basketball scene, they've got it at the Powerpuff Rally, and then he's the cheerleader, and he still makes the shot. It's amazing. They did a really good job making him look like a Teen Wolf. Yeah. Oh, man. What if I never see that movie again? Let's see that movie. I. Uh, I live that movie, sir. Because I can't see, I'm saying. Oh. Oh, no. I I just put two and two together. Whoa. That's, oh, that would be terrible. I don't know what I'd do yeah, if I never see Teen Wolf 2 Revenge of the again. Oh, no. You know what? Your voice, man. Your voice reminds what? me of... What? Actually, now that we're talking about Teen Wolf... What? Can what? You, hey, hey, can you do me a favor and say this line? No. The, the, the line's no. I was going to say, can you say the line no? Uh, well, I just did then. Say it again. Regrettably. Say, say it one more time. I, I don't want to. How about say... I the, don't like feeling being exploited for my voice. You just sound so much like Michael J. Fox in Teen Wolf 2. I sound like Michael J. Fox. When he plays a Teen Wolf character... In he, Teen Wolf. He changes his voice. Two. Yeah. He, t- he talks like this. He changes his voice and he talks. Michael J. Fox. Just, he's Michael J. F- the Spin well, City. Well, he's an actor. Fox. He's an ex-Spin City. Yeah, I didn't I watch know. that show. I didn't watch that program. I think, I think I'm being punked in this Michael J. Fox. I'm not Michael J. Fox. I didn't even know Michael J. Fox had Michael J. Well, you, you said. Listen, I can't see. Maybe uh, I look like Michael J. Fox and I don't even right, know. I, I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you. You're right. You're right. You're right. I mean, what do I do? Okay. So. I need to see you again. Do you wear glasses, sir? Do I wear glasses? Do you wear glasses? Oh, uh, to read. You wear glasses to read. What if What if you're reading really far away, like you're driving a car, and then you see a, a billboard far far off? Do you need That's glasses fine. to read that? Nope. Okay. That 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 just blew up my theory. Um, okay, so your eyes you can't see. You see blobs. There's blobs of gray. There's blobs of blue. You're not at the beach. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Yeah, come on, baby. You can help me out. Come on. How do you dial the phone? What do you mean? How did you dial the phone? You called me. How did you know my number? Are you Siri, man? Who's Siri? Come on, baby. It's that thing. You say to your phone, you go, hey, call call that number. Yeah. 
I said, call that medical hotline, I said. Yeah, so you go, okay, Google, call the medical hotline. And then it calls. Yeah. But who's Siri? Here, hold on. It's the me, Apple one, man. Oh, okay, Google, who's Siri? I use Apple products. Siri is a device that is unreliable and will not help you in any way. Oh, well. Whoa. Hey, this is brand competition, Siri, baby. Give it to me. Good, Google. You ever wonder if it listens to us all the time? It does. So it's listening right now. Yes. That's creepy. Yes, my yes. Both of our phones are hearing how incompetent you are. Hey, yeah. Hey, I didn't ask for this job, and I'm the only help you got, buddy. So if I were you, I'd be oh, pretty. Oh man, I'd start to be pretty nice oh, to this guy. Baby, come on. Okay, you're right. I'm a professional, and I'm here to help you. So you can't see. You yeah. don't wear glasses. You're not on any Well, drugs. I wear glasses when I read. You wear glasses when you read. But if you're in a car and you're reading a billboard from far away, you don't That's need That's not them. what anybody means when that they means, say that. That means you're farsighted, I believe. I don't know. I'll ask my phone. Okay, Google, what's the difference between nearsighted and farsighted? Nearsighted implies that you cannot see up close, where farsighted implies far away images are more hard to visualize. Oh, okay. So you're nearsighted. Uh, perhaps you never had eyes and that your whole life before this was just a dream because that's what you said. You just woke up. So maybe what? in the Inception world, you oh, were man. dreaming everything that happened before and then you woke up to realize you've never had eyes at all. Do you think about that? It'll blow your mind. Oh, yeah. baby. Jonathan Nolan. That's a crazy idea. I know. I know. What? Well, I mean, frankly, that... Have you seen Leonardo DiCaprio or Joseph, Gor Joseph Gordon-Levitt hanging around? Have I seen them hanging around? Yeah, they're in the Inception world, so maybe you're... In I haven't seen anything. Oh, shit. That's right. I forgot. Huh. Not since I set my alarm and closed my eyes and laid my head on my pillow. You had it on your pillow. Yeah, baby. Maybe there's something wrong with your pillow. But, maybe... Oh, I like that idea better than my whole life's a lie. Perhaps it's your pillow beige and blue with with fuzzy blobs. My pillow is beige and blue. Your pillow is beige and blue. Well. Yeah, absolutely. I got one beige pillow and one blue pillow. One beige pillow. Yeah, but who uses two pillows to sleep? That would be ridiculous. I, I use four. You use four pillows to sleep? That's right. And a body pillow. You must have terrible nerves. That's probably how you got the Parkinson's, honestly. You can't put what your head on that hell? sort of an angle. You put your head on that sort of an angle. You're just asking for trouble. I don't put them all under my head. Oh, okay. All right. That, that's, that's fair. So, you got I put one under my head. You put one under your head? One in between my arms. One in between, one in between my legs. One in between your And then I have one behind my back. And one behind your back. And then I have the body pillow just next to me. Oh, so you're... For emotional comfort, baby. That's true. Because I get lonely, baby. I've got As an a, adult, it's hard to meet people. I know. I don't know anybody. I, I just ran these phone calls at home. I got this harp seal. And it's almost, it's beige like your, like your vision. Because, well, it started out white. But, you know, I, I hug it a lot. A seal, baby? Yeah, he keeps you grounded. Like a live seal? No, it's a little harp seal I got from the, the one time I went to the aquarium. And then my uncle left me. Oh, baby, like a stuffed animal. Yeah, it's a little stuffy. It's got a hole in the back. So it's, it's, it's kind of lumpy. And the back part's pretty flat But he's still there for me He's always there when I get home And it's nice You got a pillow with a hole in it, baby? He's got a little hole I tried to sell All right. it I see Yeah I got you, baby What do you mean? You got a pillow with a hole I in it I sometimes you hug things too high yeah. And you get a little hole Yeah, baby Yeah, so you understand <laughs> Alright So you got these different colors How pillows. old are you? How old am I? Yeah I'm 34 on, Andy. I'm 34 years young you're 34? I'm 34 years young. That's right. Wow, baby. I can't believe it. I know. I'm pretty mature for my age. I finally, I got this, this great career answering phones at this place. It's really cool. You should come by sometime. Well, I'm calling you right now. You're at work. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, so I'm I not guess, just a stranger you met on the phone. I know, but it's like we're friends. Yeah, we're not. Okay. Well, that's right. <laughs> but maybe you can make my seal next time, then. Well, I'm still blind. Yeah, that's true. You shouldn't really, I'm, I'm assuming you'd have to drive to me because I can't drive anymore. And, well, without the vision, it'd be hard for you to, to me to carry you. You might harp you. But, uh, all right. So, uh, we got to figure out your vision. We got to fix you. We're going to fix you. Like that Coldplay song. So, you're seeing D. 
different blurs. You got the beige, you got the blue, but you got those pillows that are also that color. So I'm thinking yeah, of two of the four. So so being that you're nearsighted and things are close, if things are close, yeah, they're blurry baby. if you're not wearing your glasses. So right. so maybe maybe even though the pillows are in different spots behind your behind your head, one in between your arms, one below your legs, and one behind your back. Possibly <coughs> maybe they got jumbled in your sleep. If you're a restless sleeper, I'm a very restless sleeper. If Gary the seal's not there, I am tossing and turning all night, like that song. Uh, so maybe you were tossing and turning all night, and those pillows got jumbled in front of your face, and then you got up, and then you had them in your face, and they were so close, and because you didn't have your glasses and your nearsighted, it was blurry. And that's why when you move your head, they move a little bit because they're in front, and I'm resting on your head. Think that could be it? It's a theory. You know what? That's not a bad theory. Yeah, feel around you. See if there's pillows. Usually I sleep perfectly still. I wake up not having moved an inch, but this evening I woke up. With my head, where my feet were. Yeah, where your feet were? That's weird. And turned completely around, facing the other direction. It's wow. That's really bizarre. Maybe, maybe with my face in the pillow. Inside the pillow? Like in the pillow? Like well, there's a I, hole in the pillow? I a thought, big hole in the pillow I where thought, your head is? I thought it was just resting there, but then I lived in my head and. You know, maybe it came with me, I suppose. That's maybe crazy. you were right. There was something in front of me all along. You didn't you didn't you didn't happen to have a dream last night that that, that you were yeah, you were born and then born. then the doctor shoved you back in. Could that have happened? I shoved had, me back in. Yeah, I have this dream all the time where I'm born and I'm a baby and I see the world and say, Oh hello doctor. Oh you must be my mommy but then they put me back in and they shoved me back in and then once I woke up and my head was inside Gary the Seal. No, I didn't have a no dream where I was being reverse born, but I did have a dream where my father was impregnating me. Oh, well, that's pretty similar. It I'm seems starting to like think it, that it, that it, could it, be the thing. It's at least in the same yeah. ballpark. Oh, I think I did it. I think I solved the riddle. All right, sir, reach around your face. If you see, if you, if you can feel anything that's fluffy, maybe something with a hole in it, maybe something that feels beige or something that feels blue, just grab that thing. Just grab okay. it real hard. All right. And then and then pull your arms away from your face. Oh my! Oh. Now look around, sir. Open up your eyes and tell yes. me what you see. I see. Skies are blue. Leaves are green. Red roses too. No, I told you I'm in my house. Oh, that's right. What do you see, sir? I see my beige couch and my blue pillows. Sir, tell me, this beige couch and these blue pillows, are they in focus? Yes. We did it! We did it, sir! Look around, see if there's any other colors. Can you see anything? Yes, I see my beige walls. Oh, the beige walls. Great. Do you see any other colors? My blue window trims. Oh, that's fantastic. All different things. Can, can you see any other colors around your room? No, I don't have much in here. No, it's okay. You know, I just moved into place myself. All I got is that, that base seal, really. Oh, that's wonderful. I think we did it, sir. I think, I think we solved the problem. We I did. think we did it. Oh, the first time. I did it. All right, oh, my God. baby. Oh, hey, I, thank you. I, I'm going to get a hero's welcome. I think my uncle's going to come back. Oh, I'm good for something. Oh, I can't wait to tell them this at the family reunion. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh. Hey, you're welcome, baby. Can you, can you do me a favor? Hey, thank you, baby. Can you, can you do me a favor? Can I do you a favor? Yeah, can you give me a good rating on TripAdvisor? TripAdvisor? <laughs> yeah, I got TripAdvisor profile. It's got pictures of me. It's got pictures of my buddy Gary. It would really mean the world to me if what I got... What do you mean? I got, like, do you, you got an Airbnb or something, maybe? Well, I, I've, got a, <laughs> I've got a bed next to my bed, but I haven't been able to rent it out. But oh. it's a good location. It's really uh, good location. I got street parking. I don't feel comfortable attaching my name to that. No, that's fine. I'll, I'll advertise that myself. But if you just like my trip advisor, I'd really appreciate it. I still feel like, uh, you know, then people can log on my profile and see, like, oh, why do they like this bed what? next to a guy? I don't want people to get the wrong idea. You know, I'm, it's really I'm, I really do appreciate your help, but... Uh, okay, that's fine. Hey, right, well, well, if you ever get lonely, maybe you just give me a call again and we can just shoot this shit. Hey, maybe... All right, we'll I'll, I'll take that as a yes. Uh, I would take it as a no. All right, well, uh, well then, uh, could you let Siri know that if she's ever around me, if she wants to give me a call? Siri is uh, artificial intelligence. That's all right. Okay, Google is kind of boring me. It's got the same cruddy jokes over and over again. They're not as funny anymore. Yeah, 
Okay. You have a good one. Thanks, man. Oh, <laughs> bye. Thank you for listening to this episode of audio-based content. You can see my guest, Jason Edwards, in Consolation Prize and Raccoon Log Ride. He is also the producer of Murder, She Joked. These shows are at Third Coast Comedy Club. You can see me in the Third Coast Lab. September 19th, we're doing another live recording of audio-based content with special guests Ali Baker, Charlie Allen, and Mike Garvin. You can see my art at aaron-zvi-felder.com. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe, rate, and review.